Despite deaths and illness, vaping continues to remain popular with a lot of young people. A new study finds almost 80% of vapors feel safe vaping even after recent lung illnesses and deaths. The study surveyed 1,800 vape users between the ages of 18 and 35. Carry X5's Adrian Thomas is standing by live at a local tobacco shop and vape shop with more details. Adrian? Shelby, I'm coming to you live near Smoke Plus, a new vape and tobacco shop here in Grand Junction on Patterson Road and 7th Street. As you can see, the red, there's a red and yellow banner behind me that reads, Vapor Sold Here. Now, one of the employees at this, this shop tells me vaping is the popular choice among younger customers. We spoke to a local vape user in his early 20s, and he says although he's aware of some of the health risks related to vaping, he says vaping helped him cure a bad habit. I started ultimately just to kind of curb a cigarette addiction. I mean, granted, I do smoke here and there, but I don't smoke to the extent that I used to. 21-year-old Chase Davis became addicted to cigarettes in his early teens. He says he's been vaping for the past three years to quit cigarettes. He says he's aware of the potential side effects, but says the low nicotine vape liquid he uses keeps him off smoking. I'm not really concerned about it. I've done my research on the stuff, and I understand, like, yeah, there are going to granted be some health risks because it is some kind of vapor going into your lungs. A local vape shop employee says younger customers think vaping is a better option to begin with. I believe a lot is um, probably because a lot are kind of, they don't want to smoke cigarettes, so I think that's kind of, they think it's a safer alternative to cigarettes. We also spoke to a specialist at Mesa County Public Public health who focuses on who vapes and why. She says the variety of flavors is what has led to a large number of young vapors. Cigarettes can only be menthol and tobacco flavored, while our vape products, though there are some changes happening in relation to this, can be thousands of different flavors, and they're really flavors that are appealing to young people. Kelsey Fife says this flavor variety with vaping has led young people to develop severe nicotine addictions and has even led to higher cigarette use. About 90% of all addictions, you know, including tobacco but other products as well, start, started before the age of 25. This study by Harmony Healthcare IT also found about 70% of vape users say they think vaping's unhealthy, yet they continue to do so. Now, a new bipartisan bill in the Colorado General Assembly is, uh, is aimed at uh, adding more regulation to tobacco and vape shops. This includes issuing uh, licenses statewide. We'll, of course, keep following that bill and how it progresses and how it may impact the vaping and tobacco industry here in Colorado.